Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Do you like my hoodie? I just put it on and it is so soft and it is perfect for the winter months. I love this thing so much. I got this from Hot Topic and I believe it was $54.90, but it is a hoodie. So I've got this really nice hoodie and it's so comfy. I really like the fit. I really like that I have a place to put my fingers and I love it. So this is great. This was a great purchase. So if it wasn't obvious, today I am doing a box lunch, hot topic, and American merchandise haul. I have a slew of products that have been sitting in boxes for a very long time. So there's stuff in here from like August. So let's go ahead and get started. So you've already seen this hoodie. I also have the Sailor Moon bedspread print hoodie and joggers coming in. I don't know when they're gonna arrive cause all the shipping has been super delayed for like everything. Eventually that will come in as well. So I've gotten a lot of hoodies lately. This is another hoodie that I picked up from Box Lunch or Hot Topic. Box Lunch and this one was $54.90. I got this one in a medium. I also got this one in a medium as well, even though they were listed in different sizes. I believe this one was unisex and this one might have been men's or something like that. I'll check down below. So this is a really pretty simple print for a hoodie. On the front, all you have are the Sailor Senshi symbols. You can obviously and immediately tell that it's Sailor Moon if you recognize the symbols. And I really like the simplicity of this print. So I love the little rainbow that we have of pastel colors on the sleeves. And on the back, we get this really pretty little pastel rainbow as well. So I thought the colors were cool and it was very unique and different. The interior of this, it's relatively thick and it is made out of a very soft material. So if you wear this against bare skin, it's going to be very, very comfortable and soft to wear. But I think it's thick enough that if you put something underneath it, you would be super warm for these winter months. Now, if you want to see me wear any of these products and you wanna see pictures and see how it fits, I usually post all those pictures over on my Instagram page if I don't put them on during these videos. So check out my Instagram. I'm at Sailor Snubs, just like this channel. I have a bunch of cute little different things that I had purchased from Hot Topic a few months ago, so I'll show you those. I know. I don't need another backpack, but another backpack existed, so I bought it. Don't collect stuff, y'all. You get into it and then you just dive deeper and deeper and you can never stop. Here's a magnet. I got this magnet from, I wanna say Hot Topic. I think it's by Monogram. Had to buy that in store, couldn't find it online. I also grabbed this keychain to add to my collection. I will probably keep this in the wrapper. It was $9.90 retail at Hot Topic. Now this looks exactly like the keychains I had in the 90s, again in the early 2000s and now. So I did wanna have like a new version that I would never take out of the box just so I had a, I guess a duplicate. Cause that's what happens when you collect things. You just buy duplicates for no reason other than to keep them in the packaging and look at them. Y'all know exactly what I'm on about. <laughs> Cute Poskets. Cute Poskets are a brand from Japan. They also make a series of different characters for a series of different animes. You can find cute poskets of Disney characters. You can find cute poskets of Dragon Ball characters. And we have these ones of Sailor Moon characters. Now there are a lot of Sailor Moon cute poskets. I'm still debating on whether or not I will collect all of them. Right now I've only collected the Sailor Moon or Usagi versions, but there's their school uniform and Sailor Scout uniform characters from Cute Posket for every single senshi. And they have two versions. They have like the pastel and anime color editions for all of the Sailor Senshi. So you could end up with like 30 of these things. There's a lot. Should I get them? I mean, they're relatively inexpensive, so I've considered it, but there's also so many and I just don't want my room to turn into like a cute posket wall of fame. Maybe I should just collect one of the color versions, but if so, which version should I get? Pastel or anime? Okay, so we have Super Sailor Moon. Is there only one version? There might only be one version of this Super Sailor Moon. And then I also have the B version, so the pastel version of Usagi in her school uniform. Form. I think this one was a birthday present from my sister. So thank you, Brittany. The nice thing about cute poskets is the figures aren't that big, so they don't take up a lot of space. She definitely looks like she's up to something like, I have a secret. Hello, I have a secret. What is my secret? Okay, that's adorable. 
I like that one. Super Sailor Moon with her kaleidoscope. Oh man, they're so easy to put together. This is great. Here we have Q Poskets of Super Sailor Moon with her kaleidoscope. We also have the pastel version of Skino Usagi in her school uniform. Okay, so between these two, this is a really important question. I need you to pay attention right now. Which color do you like the most? If I was to collect all of the Sailor Senshi, which color should I get? I can't choose. It's really hard for me to choose when it just comes down to like the color additions because I think they're both cute. Ugh, I don't know. Which one should I get? Let's move on to this beautiful backpack that I grabbed from Hot Topic over the summertime. So this was $39.90 MSRP. However, I had a I had a coupon, so I didn't have to spend that much on this, but it's a beautiful backpack that was available several months ago. I really like this print. It does match a makeup bag that I also have from Hot Topic that I purchased, I think last year in 2020. So I love that this print totally matches. It's also a little bit bigger than some of my other bags. So as far as a backpack goes, I think this would fit quite a bit of goodies inside of it. The color isn't exactly white. It's more of like an off-white cream color. And I chose to purchase this in store because some of the backpacks had a weird print on them. For example, like Luna was covered up by the logo on the front. So I wanted to get one that had Luna on the sides of the logo as opposed to having some of the print cut off. So I'm really happy with this version that I purchased because it's not crooked and it looks really nice. The back does have adjustable backpack straps and there is a zipper compartment inside of the backpack as well. Hot Topic also had a whole bunch of blind bag posters. I collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them over the summertime. You already saw me unbox those. However, the one that I wanted the most, I did not get in my blind bags. So I purchased it off of Mercari. This is the one that I really wanted. This features a very famous print. Now, originally you can see this print in a manga version but this anime version looks awesome. I love that it features all of the Sailor Senshi, not just the inner Sailor Senshi. So we have Saturn down here, we have Pluto up at the top, as well as Chibi Moon, Uranus, and Neptune. Really, really cool. So this is obviously like from Sailor Moon Supers. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to hang up this poster. This was a birthday gift from my mother-in-law. This is my very first wall scroll. I know, I never had a wall scroll before until now. It's the same print as the poster. I know, I don't care. I wanted both of them. So I'm really excited to have a wall scroll and it's a wall scroll of one of my favorite pieces of art. So I'm super excited about this. I love how big it is. I mean, if I, if I unroll this thing. Huh. Hey everybody, <laughs> look how tall it is. It's so big. <laughs> I love it. I love how large this wall scroll is. So I can't wait to hang this up. I'm gonna have to find a place for it, but it looks beautiful. I found it on Amazon. It is licensed, very happy with it. If you're anything like me and you've never owned a wall scroll before, there are so many different options that you can choose from. I've always been really picky about wall scrolls, so I never purchased one but I saw this one and I was like, I have to have it. It's so pretty because it features all of the Sailor Senshi. My bestie in high school, she had a Sailor Stars wall scroll and I always thought it was the most beautiful thing. So I'm really happy to have my own. I just love the floral detailing on this wall scroll. I think it's beautiful and it's inexpensive. When I was a kid, these things were so pricey. They're not that pricey anymore. Moving on, I have a couple of items that I purchased in the mail. All right, first I have a pair of shorts that I got from, I wanna say Hot Topic, cute little booty shorts. I love the ombre print on this Sailor Moon crystal silhouette on the front. And I also love that they're simplistic. So these will be really nice to lounge around in. These were 19.90 and I purchased a size medium. This, ooh, this is soft. Whoa, I love it. This is from Box Lunch. So this came out this year. However, they did have a version last year as well, but the version that came out this year has really pretty iridescent stars and the quality is updated a little bit. So I think this year's version is better. This costs 1690 MSRP. It has a beautiful print. 
of the Sailor Senshi on the front. And that's not a screen print. Like it feels like it's actually printed into the material. So I don't think it's going to rub off over time. I love the iridescent stars found all over. And the top of this has a little bit of like flocking. So it feels velvety. It feels really good and the brand on the front looks beautiful. That is screen printed directly onto the fabric so you can kind of feel it. And the inside is somewhat padded. This is such a cute stocking. I love this. If you're going for like geeky holiday decor, you should get one of these because it's adorable. I don't know if it's still in stock, but if it is, definitely grab one. This is really, really pretty. I love it. All right, moving on, I have another hoodie. So this one is a cropped hoodie, which means I'll have to be careful with what I wear this with because sometimes cropped hoodies make me look preggers. So, <laughs> but this was cute. I found it at Hot Topic several months ago. It features the Sailor Senshi on the front, just the inner Sailor Scouts. And then it says Sailor Guardians on it. I'm getting kind of bored with tie-dye, so I haven't been purchasing as much tie-dye stuff lately, so you won't see a lot of those newer items in my hauls, just because I'm getting really, really tired and burnt out from tie-dye. So I hope, I hope that trend changes in 2022 and we actually get some like solid colors again because yeah, I'm sick of the tie dye. So here on the inside, we have a very soft material for this hoodie. I got size small this time and this one was $39.90. And again, it is cropped. So if you look good and cropped, then here you go. <laughs> here's, here's a hoodie option for you. <laughs> this also had matching pants, but I didn't like the pants again, because they were tie-dye, so I didn't purchase those. All right, I got a couple of blankets. So one of these blankets is, you guessed it, it's the same print. <laughs> it's the same print again. Uh, this one was a birthday present from my mom-in-law, and I love this print so much, so I'm really excited about this. This is 46 inches by 60 inches, so quite a decent size for a blanket. Okay, so here's the blanket and the other side is simply a pink solid cover. That's it. And it's not super thick, so this is a pretty thin blanket, but it's very large. So I could definitely use this whenever I'm up here recording and it's cold. The other one that I got is the Usagi bedspread print. This one is a 50 by 60 inch blanket and it was $29.90. I grabbed this one. I wanna say it was from Fox Lunch. It might've been Hot Topic, don't remember. So here is blanket number two. This one has a solid white back to it. It is not fleece or anything like that. It's another very thin blanket, but look at the print. This is a very pretty winter holiday sweater that I had to get. I ended up purchasing a separate size because the original small that I bought was way too small. It's not stretchy whatsoever, even though it looks like it should be. And the shoulders were way too narrow for my build. So I had to upgrade to a medium, but it's very cute. This is from Box Lunch. It's a Box Lunch exclusive. It was $58.90 and again, I got the medium. The inside material is kind of scratchy, so I would recommend wearing something underneath this if you were to wear it. But look at the print. The print is very, very cute. It does feature some sparkly little stars, so they use like a gold sparkly thread for these. Same thing for Luna's crescent moon on the front. It's just a very pretty sweater. I think that it doesn't flaunt Sailor Moon, but it definitely gives you that kawaii vibe to it. So again, if you are purchasing this, definitely size up because the sizing for this, I think is a little bit small. Not gonna lie, I totally forgot about this product that I purchased. So this was also from Box Lunch. This is a beautiful, really large mug that features this galaxy print of Luna on the front and you have a gold handle. On the back, it features a, a gold crescent moon and you also have the Sailor Senshi symbols. The inside is plain black. Now this is made by Just Funky and this is hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave. So if you use this, keep that in mind. Generally, that's what you will find with most of the American made dishware is that you can't put it in the dishwasher, which is unfortunate. I do wish that Just Funky would make some products that you could put in the dishwasher 
Because I'm a busy gal and I would definitely like to be able to just throw things in the dishwasher and let the dishwasher do it for me. This is $18.90 retail. It is a lunch bag, but it features the same print as the blanket that you saw previously. The inside of this is that silvery material, so it should keep your items cold or hot or whatever you might have in here. And it's very large. This is a really big lunch sack, so it's actually something that I would consider using as opposed to some of the smaller ones that I have from Japan. So this is cute. It's definitely something I would use. Ooh, I should use this over the summertime when I have to bring beer to the beach. <laughs> I don't think that this would keep ice from melting through. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be like waterproof just given how it's sewn. But if you were to put like a cold pack in here or like a freezer pack, then that would probably be just fine. I keep on bumping into my table and I'm worried I'm gonna like toss over my coffee. Here I have a pile of things, lots of things. Now I got a few of these keychains as blind bags. I believe they were from GameStop. I didn't get all of the characters that I wanted. So I traded with some folks online. So I ended up getting, I think the entire collection. So each of these was about five or six dollars. And the entire series of these is really cute. These are called backpack hangers and they are by the company Just Toys. So here we have the Chase version of Sailor Moon as well as the regular version of Sailor Moon. So I was able to get both of them. They look really cute. I love the paint on them, these chibis. They're so adorable. Then we have Sailor Venus over here. I also grabbed Sailor Jupiter. She looks adorable. I love her pose. Sailor Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury, turn her around, there you go. There's Sailor Mercury. And last but not least, I have Luna. Luna looks so cute. Now each of these features a little key ring that is in the shape of Sailor Moon's moonstick. And in order to use it, you just have to slide the moonstick out separately like that. So really easy to use and it does lock into place so these shouldn't go anywhere. Now the two people that I traded with were Sailor Samara as well as Britlin. And thank you so much Britlin for helping me get the key rings that I needed to get to complete my collection. This item was $24.99 from GameStop and it is brand new this year. I do have another sushi platter that I purchased I wanna say last year or the year before that features Luna and Artemis. This one features Sailor Moon. So I really wanted to grab this one as well for my collection. So these sushi platters are made out of ceramic. They do come with chopsticks, which I really appreciate. And they also come with this soy sauce bowl. These are hand wash only, do not soak, do not microwave. So keep that in mind, just like the other products. But this is a really, really beautiful piece of dishware to add to my collection. Will I ever use it? That's the question. Probably not. All right, last but definitely not least, I have a few other American-made products. Weirdly, this shirt was from Spencer's. I really like the print. I thought it was very 1990s. The size I got was a small. This is a size medium sweater. I believe I got this from Forever 21 or somewhere somewhere online that just happened to release it. It's a decent sized sweater, but I like that it includes the Japanese text at the bottom that says Sailor Moon. And on the back of it, we get this really cool print of Sailor Moon along with a crescent moon next to her. In Katakana, it says Sailor Moon at the bottom and it says, I am the pretty guardian who fights for love and justice. I am Sailor Moon. This is the eternal edition of the Sailor V manga part two, which just released and just got shipped. I bought this from Right Stuff because Right Stuff honestly knows how to package their, their things. When you buy manga from Amazon, a lot of times it'll come damaged and I've never had that problem with Right Stuff. So they package everything really well and I'm quite happy with the quality whenever my packages come in. So anytime I'm ordering manga, I get it from Right Stuff. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm also very excited to read the first edition of the Sailor V manga as well. So there are two editions. These are number one and two. And this one also features that beautiful front print with that kind of holographic sparkly material and a gorgeous manga illustration of Sailor V made by Naoko Takeuchi. Gorgeous illustrations and gosh, I haven't read the Sailor V manga in at least 10 years. I think that's the last time I read it, so I'm excited to check these out. Look at that beautiful illustration. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that art. Just love it. 
Wouldn't it be cool if we got a Sailor V anime? I know there was some art that was released and kind of teased about a Sailor V anime that never happened, but gosh, that would be so cool. I would love to watch that. I have one more thing for my American haul and then I think I'm done. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I had a huge pile of American goods that I have hauled from a bunch of different stores. So this is the last thing and I'm very excited about this. I've already used it, I've tested it and I can recommend. I did it. <laughs> I bought the Sailor Moon crock pot. I actually used it too. I used my Sailor Moon crock pot and I made my mom's beef stew. In fact, if you wanna hear the recipe for the beef stew, I'll put a picture up here of the recipe card so you can make it yourself in case you're interested. It's a very good beef stew. You leave it going overnight and it comes out so tender and just like the beef just falls apart and it's so flavorful and juicy and I just love it. It's great for winter time. So if you're looking for like a really easy recipe for the winter time, there you go. And this is the perfect size for that recipe too, by the way. So you get a glass top, you can see through the top. Uh, the other name for this is a slow cooker, but I like the words crock pot because it sounds so Southern. So you'll notice that there are no holes on here for ventilation. This is a nice big ceramic bowl. It heats up quite well and very evenly. So really happy with that. It's a seven quart slow cooker. So plenty of space in here for like a four person family for a meal. This is the interior, so very simplistic. And as you can see, even though I have used this, the printing did not come off. It's metal, nothing happened with it. I think it's aluminum. Anyway, the printing did not come off. It didn't get strained or anything. When I was scrubbing this down, I used a soft brush when I was scrubbing this to get all of the juices off of it. Now, one thing I will recommend with this slow cooker is it does not have a timer. You only have a dial to go between off, warm, low, and high. And there is a little red light on the front so you can tell if it's on. But other than that, that's all you really have on here. There's not a bunch of settings. It doesn't beep, it doesn't do any of that. So if you're looking for something that's a little more advanced, like has a timer, has smart functionality, beeps, then this would not be the one for you. But if you want something that will require you to be a little bit more hands-on, then this works fine. I believe it was around $50, maybe a little bit less when I had purchased it from Hot Topic. So it's definitely not the most expensive crock pot slash slow cooker, but it worked just fine for my needs when I was doing beef stew in here, and I can definitely use it again. Now you should never put this piece in the washer, but you can put the bowl and the glass top in the washer, no problem. In fact, I did that with mine and it came out just perfect. This is what the box looks like whenever you're looking for it on store shelves and it worked really great. So it is dishwasher safe for the stoneware, that's not ceramic, sorry, stoneware and the lid. And then it has those three heat settings and the two handles on the sides are cool touch as it says here. And I can reiterate that too with my own experience. They are definitely cool touch and they work just fine. So I was able to move it around no problem. And I was able to, you know, check on my beef stew when I was cooking in it. So I was very happy with it. So if you're looking for Sailor Moon cooking options, then this is a really, really fun one. Now, hopefully one of these days I'll be able to get the rice cooker too, because there is a matching rice cooker, but I believe you can only get it in Canada. And given how hard it is to ship things overseas right now, I don't know if we will see that available here in the USA, but that would be nice. So just funky, if you are watching this video, Please consider releasing the rice cooker here in America and the USA as well, because we would love it. I would really, really, really like to have the rice cooker. I think that would be incredible because I want both. I want the slow cooker and the rice cooker. And I think Canada should have access to the slow cooker too. Wow. That was a lot of stuff. None of this stuff was available when I was a little girl growing up. Like I had access to none of this. That's why I'm doing this now. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below about your favorite 
color for that cute posket figurine. Should I get pastels or stick to the anime editions? Let me know what you think. If you want to see more of those figures here on the channel, give me your ideas for future videos. I'm always looking for ideas for videos other than just my hauls and reviews. I have so much fun making these videos in my Sailor Moon collection room. It's just so comfortable in here and it brings me so much joy. And I usually do tech reviews on my tech channel and that's my main source of income. But man, it's so cool to just sit down and talk about Sailor Moon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Johnny.